All right. Uh, had a good practice today. Guys came out energetic and, and uh, had a lot of spirit. A little cool. We cut practice back. Starting last week, we started cutting the, the time of practice back a little bit, getting on and off the field, and trying to get to the month of November uh, with a little bit left in terms of, of uh, mental and physical abilities, trying to hold a little bit back. But this week, uh, we're still going to push them through it. We, we're working on fundamentals and techniques. We play Tennessee Tech, one double A team. They, uh, in, in some areas, have scored a lot of points. And of course, we've, we've got it. We're facing the quarterback attack offense, which it seems like we faced it a lot this year. Uh, they have some good skill players, run a lot of option plays, and a few different things that we've had to adjust to. Defensive, uh, offensively, we uh, a little bit of the same defense we saw last couple of weeks, four men front. A little bit of a carryover from there. What we're trying to do this week is is look at as many players as we can in practice. We're not taking this game for granted uh, whatsoever. We want to get better each week. We try to play against ourselves, and we're looking for you know just hard work and practice and trying to get better in all the little things. We've got a lot of room for improvement. There's there's no uh, no way in the world that uh, you know we think that we're good enough to beat anybody, but just showing up. So. Uh, our coach has done a good job of motivating the players. That's what we've done this week. We've pushed them hard and in, in terms of lifting weights. Uh, we're not cutting back on anything. We're just cutting back on a little bit of the time that we're doing. We'll do the same thing next week playing Georgia. It's not that uh, you know, we're, in, we're playing uh, you know, a one double eight team. It's that we're playing our 10th game of the season. All the guys are mentally and physically tired. We've got a lot of work to do on special teams. That's one area that we've been very disappointed with in the last few weeks. We've got a chance to finish strong. We're going to have to uh, really improve in special teams. But I thought the guys came out today and practiced hard. Had a lot of enthusiasm. Had a couple of fights, and uh, you know we made some changes around in, in, in terms of position. I think sometimes that creates a little competitiveness. Uh, Quentin Groves will play a little bit of linebacker this week. Uh, Craig Stevens, injury-wise, uh, did not practice today. Will not practice tomorrow. He will not play. Aaron Savage was back. For a little bit of an injured Eric Brock, Eric's beat up a little bit, having to play most of the snaps this year. It's good to have Aaron back, and Aaron will play quite a bit this week. Merrill Johnson the same way, uh, trying to get to some of the other linebackers that's played a lot of snaps, a little bit of a rest in practice. But uh, we're going in this game with the intent of playing much better than what we've played. There's some things that we want to get accomplished, and. Uh, uh, the biggest thing is trying to get as many people out on the field that has not been playing that, 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 that have had injuries. Ryan Pugh, again, did not practice today. If he doesn't practice tomorrow. We will hold him out. Uh, Brad Lester did not practice today. He should practice tomorrow. So uh, just some, some guys that we're trying to get a little bit of a rest you know, going into this week. But uh, we're going into a full steam. We're going to play hard. We're going to improve. And let everything take care of itself. Questions? You said Lester just resting, no injury. Well, he, he, he's had a, a growing problem most of the year, and last week he aggravated a little bit right before halftime, but he came out and played the second half. And, and what we want to do is try to get him as healthy as we can, but uh, he should uh, you know, he should be ready to go Saturday. Is Tristan out there this week? Tristan is out running. He's not, he, he's not hitting anybody. And he gets a little bit better every day running, and hopefully uh, – by next week, he'll be getting close to full speed, and we can start working him in. He, he wants to play, so we, uh, we're just taking it day by day with him. He won't play Saturday, though, right? No, he won't play Saturday. He's not going to be ready. Coach, you talk about Watson Brown? What Watson, I've known Watson for a long time. He and his brother Mac, and uh, we go back to recruiting days when I was first started coaching college at Arkansas State back in, the, I guess, in the late 70s, early 80s. And... Uh, Watson's been around. He's, he, he knows a lot of football. You know, he's trying to get a, a program started back and on his feet. And I like what they're doing on offense. They're doing a lot of multiple things and trying to get some of their skill players involved. They've got a couple of guys that can really run, and, and uh, they're trying to take advantage of those. But Watson's a you know a, a good coach. I've known him for a while in terms of on and off the field things. Did a lot of a lot of. Uh, uh, functions with him while he was at UAB and uh, even got to know him 
better there. But good coach, good football coach. And, you know, when you leave one school and go to another, and especially from 1A to 1AA, you know, you've got to respect a guy that goes home to, his, you know, where he's from and, and uh, you know, knows a lot of people there and he's trying to help, help that program out. You know, they've, they've, uh, they're much improved. We watched them on film from last year. They've done a good job this year in terms of using their talent to get the most out of it. How, how much of a move is that for Quentin? And is it, is it something you figured to finish out the season with him? Oh, no, it's not much. You know, he's played some linebacker, but what we're doing is we're, he, he played a linebacker position where it was a defensive end. We stood him up and we dropped him and he played coverage. Now it's just on the other side, so, you know, tight end side most of the time where he's, he'll be on the tight end. Uh, you know, he'll drop from there, play run from there. Uh, have a guy over him in terms of his running play would be taking a tight end. On. It's just a little bit different uh, scheme. Uh, there's not not a lot that uh, different in some of those areas. I think he's probably better blitzing from standing up than he is down. And you know, he's not 100%. He's still got a little bit of a limp left. But I, I think this will help him in terms of being around too many piles and things like that. And I think it'll help him, you know, next level. You know. With, Having some film on you know, playing the stand-up guy because that's what he'll probably do. In the NFL. Is it is it a way to keep him and Antonio on the field, or is it because you need you, you got to have another? Oh yeah, no, it's it, we're we're looking for ways to get them all on the field, and we'll do that uh, starting next week. We'll, you want to have your best players on the field and when you're playing conference games. And uh, Quentin just hasn't been 100 percent, so we hadn't worked on those scenarios. But uh, going into the last two games, you know we're we're going to need everybody out there at the same time. But you also need backups, you know. For, the other guys, and I think by then he's going to be able to play on that off the line of scrimmage in terms of 